Hi, my beautiful Taurus people. Thank you guys for taking the poll and saying that you would like to see a reading for you guys. So I'm doing an earth sign reading today. So um, I did Virgo this week. So unfortunately, Virgos, I'm sorry. I will do your video for early next week. Don't worry, I got you. I got your back. Okay, Virgos? But right now I'm holding down my Taurus people, Taurus gang. Okay, I know I did Taurus video recently as well, but you know, since you guys requested it, I'm doing a special request video today for people who are in a relationship or in a situationship for six months or more, okay? To see if there's energies that we could, you know, decipher and talk about. So first, I wanted to pull a card from the Rebecca Campbell Work Your Light Oracle Cards. Um, I did pre-shuffling off camera. It says, don't dim your, it says, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in, okay? So that's a message for some of you guys. How are you dimming your, your light to fit in? And answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So some of you are soul searching right now, trying to figure out the your next step, your next path. What 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 what, what direction I need to go? And spirit is encouraging you to not dim your light. Know who you are, your self worth, with a Queen of Pentacles energy, and just continue to do what you're doing. You know, if some of you are already doing what you got to do, but you're second guessing yourself. And don't dim your light just to appease people. Because at the end, in the end, a lot of these people are miserable and not doing something with themselves. So continue to do what you got to do to make sure you're good. Okay? And answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Okay? So listen to God. Listen to the spirit, the higher spirit. Don't listen to anybody else. You need to center yourself, meditate, focus in on what the Lord has to say. What the Lord wants you to do. What the Lord is guiding you to do at this time. Some of you are feeling stuck, but listen to the God. God is sending you signs. Some of you are avoiding it, okay? So stop avoiding the signs for some of us Taurus people. Stop avoiding the signs. Okay, so what is the Taurus that needs, needs to know in regards to their relationship style? This is the Relationship Archetype Oracle cards, guys. I really like it. It's very informative for me. So um, Taurus people, what is it that Taurus needs to know in their current love situation? For Tauruses, what is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation? My Taurus Collective, what is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation, Spirit? Taurus Collective, what is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation? Taurus Collective, what is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation? Okay, let's see what's going on, my beautiful Taurus people. I hope you all are doing well out there. Peace and blessings to you all. Okay, so we have the first card. It says, the X-File, Dating History Reporter. Okay. Um, the X-File, the dating history reporter. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't really know what to say about this, but uh, some of you are just like keeping logs of your exes. Maybe you guys are keeping some evidence or, you know, holding some resentment towards some of your exes at this time. Um, keeping catalogs, keeping information about somebody that, um, did you wrong. You're kind of reporting or maybe some of you, I feel, are telling somebody about someone that you may know that you may have dealt with, maybe not on an, not on a, a, a committed level, but somebody might be interested in someone that you spoke to and somebody's telling them, like, hey, listen, this person's this, this person's that. Okay, with this X-File dating history reporter. And, oh, another download is that some of you are going on in your next relationships or while you're dating, you're giving too much information about your past history, about your past exes and what they did to you, what happened and things like that. Whenever you're dating somebody new, they don't want to hear about all your relationship drama. All you have to say is that, hey, things didn't go right. You know, you weren't seen eye to eye. Keep it very casual. Nobody wants to hear like, oh, yeah, he betrayed me. He slept with six people. He slept with my sister and all this shit. Like, we, they don't want to hear that. Trust me. Imagine yourself if you're going on a date and somebody's telling you all about their ex. And she's a bitch. And she did this. And she did that. And I want to cut that bitch. Like, you know, sorry, censor. I, I want to hurt that. I want to hurt that bee. I want to hurt her. I want to hurt her. Would you want to date them? Most of you will be like, okay, psycho, next. So some of you are doing something like that, I feel, in some of your relationships while, while you're dating. Giving too much information about your past. The late realization. As soon as he thinks you might have moved on and are no longer a possibility, he wants you again. So that always happens, right? Right, woman, right, men? Every time you withdraw your energy and you say, hey, I'm no longer dealing with something. I'm not going to deal with you. You're toxic. Something in the situation is toxic. I no longer want the situation no more. 
I'm leaving, I'm disconnecting, that's when they come back because they want your energy. It's all just a mind manipulative um, ego boost for some of them. They just want the ego. They want to feed their ego. They want to know that they still got it. Okay, so just know that we're in Mercury retrograde season. So a lot of people from your past may be coming up and you're going to be like, who, what the hell? I haven't heard from you in over six years. Like, where you come from? Okay, so just know that it's a test from the Lord to see if you're going to use your discernment and realize this past situation, even if their dick or their the, the pussy was good, that this person was toxic and not to put yourself in this trap that the devil's trying to set up for you. Okay. So we have the gym freak, someone who is obsessed with going to the gym. So some of you guys are obsessed with your, with your fitness, okay? You're getting your health on. Some of you are just, you know, some of you I feel are having like a heavy mind and a heavy heart at this time. So like the gym kind of helps, you know, clear some of your burdens that you're going through at this time with the gym freak card. Because I know I'm not in the gym like that. I should be, but... I'm not. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of action-oriented cards. So we have the gym freak and we have the runner. Avoidance partners may avoid making long-term plans or talking about the future of the relationship. So the runner is the track star, okay? So the runner chaser dynamic. Somebody might be a runner. Any anytime things get too serious, they're avoidant personalities. They become tense. They withdraw their energy. They start acting weird, Okay. So that's the runner card. We have the gym freak and we have the late realization and we have the date, um, the X-file dating history person. Okay, so that's interesting to know some of you guys. Just, you know, message down below if anything relates. If anything resonates, always comment down below. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. My name is Felicia and I'm from New York. I am 37 years old. And I just love doing my tarot readings. I like to provide insights to people who may need it. Because I started my history with watching other people do their tarot. Because I was trying to gain clarity on my love situation at the time. And what I learned to use was my own discernment throughout this whole course of trying to figure out my relationship. I used my own discernment and watched my tarot readings. And tarot was almost a form of therapy for me to help guide me in the right direction to move forward. So, you know, it's a, a blessing and it could also be a curse because sometimes people get too many opinions from these tarot readings. Oh, this person might be doing this. There could be a third party energy. This person might be doing this. This person might be doing that. And it's going to drive you insane. So that's why it's important for you to use your own discernment, your own intuition, your own gut feeling about a situation. Okay, if somebody's giving you too much run around, they're running, you feel like you're running after them, you haven't heard from them over 10 days or so, or they're just not responding to your messages very quickly, not like within a second, because that's a little bit, you know, crazy for them to want to respond if you're expecting them to respond in a minute. But if they're taking like hours to respond, that you can only contact them during certain parts of the day, that means that they're doing something outside of the situation. And let's be realistic. I, and it, some of you have emotions towards this person and I get it and it hurts, but it's the truth. And you know, it's the truth too. You know, in your gut, something's wrong. So why are you, why are you watching? You just want to be curious. If you want to be curious and know what's going on, what they're doing, that's fine. I could show you something that whatever the, comes out in a card, I'll say, but at the end of the day, use your own discernment. Like you already know the answer. And that's what basically helped me to figure that out. Whenever I did tarot is that I already knew the answer. I was searching everywhere, but I already knew the answer. So some of you already know your answer, so you don't need to keep searching. But please, still watch my videos. I would appreciate it because you might provide so I could be a little bit of a counselor for some of you guys, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going off. All right, um, so let's see. Taurus people. My Taurus collective. What is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation at this time? Taurus people. What is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation at this time? Sun, moon, rising, and Taurus. What is it that they need to know? And Venus placements in Taurus. What is it that they need to know about their current love situation at this time? Ooh, all these cards want to fly out. Okay. Ooh, it's a lot. Okay, let's see. So we have... I'm not going to take all of them. But we definitely have the runner card. I feel this card is sticking out to me. And then... Okay, I'm going to take these cards because all these cards slipped out at one time. Okay, guys, so take what resonates. I'm pretty sure something will resonate with somebody. Um, so it says narcissist, egotistical, opportunist, fragile. 
And I think that goes hand in hand with that runner chaser dynamic. Somebody might be a narcissist that you're dealing with, very self-centered, all about what they want, very fragile emotionally. You say anything to them, they try to turn it around and make you look like you're the one who's causing problems. That's the narcissist energy. Then we have the runner. Fortunate, came out twice. So definitely somebody's dealing with a runner here. Okay, so the runner here. It says running, escape, denial, excuses. Somebody's running from a situation. They make excuses for why they're not available to you. Say you were supposed to hang out with them on a Friday. And then you had plans. You know, they made plans. They said, oh, we're going to meet up at this restaurant at this time. And you're like, okay, going to meet up. Then you call them two hours ahead of time just to see if their plans are still in place. And then this person's like, oh, oh, I kind of forgot about that. I have to go do something for my friend real quick. And I'll let you know whenever I'm able to talk again or, you know, to link up again. And you're like, what? And we made plans like a week ago. And they're like, yeah, I'm sorry. I got to do something else. And they're kind of like, they don't even care that they ditched you for, your, for their plans. They're not giving you no information. They just kind of like disconnect. They make excuses. And then we have trapped, stuck. No options, unforgiveness. Okay, so somebody's feeling trapped in this situation. They feel stuck, no options, unforgiveness. Maybe I feel like this person too is not forgiving themselves. For some of you guys. Um, karmics, third parties, haters, lessons learned. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with some karmic situations at this time. Where third parties may have got involved, caused... A person to think differently in regards to your love dynamic. And this could be external as well. This could be some of you who are dealing with some people in your life that have, you know, bad mind you. Um, they had, there's gossip. There's a lot of haters around you at this time. And you're starting to learn your lesson. You're, trying, you're, you're starting to see who's really for you and who's not for you. Interesting. Some of these cards I haven't seen. So distance, divorce, ghosted, separated. So I think that goes with the running card. Um, so distance, divorce, even if you haven't been in a high level commitment, you haven't experienced a divorce. Some of you have experienced a divorce, uh, but you felt ghosted. Maybe this person ghosted you. Like I said, maybe some of you were dealing with someone who is emotionally avoidant. One minute things are good. Next minute you don't hear from them for a while and you're like, what the hell is up? You know? So some of you may have been dealing with that situation with this divorce, ghosted, separation card. Emotional distance and avoidance. Longing. Missing you. Let's talk reunion. Okay, so for some of you guys, <laughs> there's somebody maybe from your past, maybe somebody you disconnected from, who's just longing for you. Or maybe you are at a distance from this person right now. They're just missing you. They, they're wishing they, they, they could hold you. They could feel you. They could celebrate with you. You see how they're having a good time. They're eating dinner. They're, you know, um, drinking wine together. So somebody's missing you at this time. They want to talk. They want a reunion. Okay, so for some of you guys, not all your situations, that's the case. So please be mindful of that. Not everybody's situation, that's the case. <laughs> not everybody wants to be reunion. That's for some of you. All right, Spirit, speak to me about my Taurus Collective. My Taurus Collective. What is it that Taurus needs to know in regards to the current love situation at this time? Those who have been seeing somebody for six months or more... What is it that they should know about their current love situation at this time? Current love situations for Taurus. What is it that they should know at this time? Current love situations for Taurus. What is it that should know, they should know at this time? Current love situations for my Taurus collective. What is it that they should know at this time in regards to their current love situation? All right. Current love situations for Taurus. What is it that they should know at this time for their current love situations? Current love situations for Taurus. What is it that they should know at this time for current love situations for Taurus? Current love situations for Taurus. What is it that they should know at this time in regards to their current love situation? What is it that Taurus people need to know in regards to their current love situation at this time? What is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation at this time? Cards that want to come out today. What is it that Taurus people need to know in regards to their current love situation at this time? So when they've been dating for six months or more, what is it that they should know in regards to their current love situation at this time for Taurus people? Okay, tell me more about what they should know in regards to their current love situation for a Taurus. What is it that they should know for their current love situation for Taurus? 
Taurus people, what is it that they should know? Okay. Two cards want to come out, so let's take it. Okay, we have a tower here, guys. There's a tower moment. Okay? And I feel like this is a good tower for some of you guys. Somebody's thinking of making a romantic gesture, and it's going to caught it's going to catch you off guard with this tower card, okay? Could be a Scorpio. This is Scorpio energy. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups as our first card, okay? Somebody wants to make a romantic gesture towards you. They want to break the ice. They want to say something nice, something flirty, something like, you know, maybe go on a date, maybe want to catch up with you. This could be this longing card, somebody who wants to reconcile with you, have a reunion. Somebody wants to reach out and have a talk with this Page of Cups, okay? Emotional conversation. And then we have this Knight of Pe this King of Pentacles, okay? Somebody who knows their growth, their self-worth, their... Um, Making their money, they're doing their thing, they're very stable financially, and things of that nature, okay? This King of Pentacles energy that you're dealing with might want to reach... There's a person that wanna re, might want to reach out to you. I feel like this is Taurus's energy, okay? This King of Pentacles is your energy, guys. So this person with this page of, page of cups, they want to talk to you, they want to reach out to you, make an emotional gesture towards you. And some of you are feeling mentally conflicted or stuck or trapped in making a decision or feeling restricted at this time. Somebody might be feeling restricted at this time. Or their anxieties and their overthinking is weighing them back. It's holding them back. And some of you feel like you may be walking on eggshells in this situation. You feel like you have to really like make sure you do things um, in a certain order. To make sure it doesn't cause a catastrophe with, a, with the tower. With this eight of swords. Okay, so some of you may be mentally conflicted. Overthinking, over analysis, paralysis with this eight of swords. It could be you or this other person. Okay, so somebody's feeling stuck and they're feeling restricted at this time, um, mentally stuck. And then we have the Seven of Swords, some kind of deception or somebody acting strategically with the Seven of Swords energy. Okay, because this person's looking back at something. Okay, so somebody's probably trying to avoid a tower moment. But somebody wants to come through and break through this tower and break the silence if there's a period of silence between you guys and talk. So let's see, why is the Page of Cups here for Taurus in their current love situation? Why is this Page of Cups here for Taurus in their current love situation? Why is this Page of Cups here for Tauruses in their current love situation for Taurus? The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. Okay. Yeah, somebody wants to uh, make peace after an ending, okay? Maybe they had a change of mind with this death card. If you haven't had an ending with this person, somebody may have had a change of mind. The heavy Scorpio energy could have been dealing with a Scorpio possibly or somebody with strong Scorpio placements. Um, if there was an ending, somebody wants to, like, be peaceful. They want to make peace, okay, is what I'm getting. They want to make peace. They want to come in towards you. They want to be friendly. They want to be nice to you and things of that nature, okay? This page of cups. There was an ending here. Somebody became very cold in this connection, okay? They're overthinking. They be, they started to use their logic over their, their heart at this time with this king of swords energy, but they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you heavily, even though they might not be expressing it. And there's probably a period of silence going on for some of you guys. Somebody's thinking of you a lot. They're thinking of you heavily and they're trying to control their thoughts with this King of Swords energy. So either they're thinking about you heavily and they're trying to control their thoughts. I feel like there's a lack of communication for some of you. Um, so maybe this person's in the quiet mode or in silent mode right now with this High Priestess energy, trying to gain a new perspective, trying to get a little bit more of understanding. I feel like this person's daydreaming about you. They're thinking about you heavily. You're always on their mind. But they're presenting this image like, okay, they don't care. I'm good. I don't care. I'm good. Nothing's affected me. I'm not emotionally burdened right now. I'm logical. I can make my, up my mind about situations. I feel like somebody's just putting it on the front. Okay? So, um, let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Taurus in their current love situation? Why is the Knight of Swords here? King of Swords, I'm sorry. Let me reshuffle. Why is the King of Swords here for Taurus in their current love situation? Why is Tor Why is the King of Swords here? Strength. Yeah, somebody's holding back their feelings. They're holding back from coming towards you for whatever reason. And I feel like it's ego-driven. The narcissist. Yeah, this ego. They're holding back from you. They're, it's taking every last bit of them to hold back from you. I feel like they're fighting this urge to come towards you for some of you. 
they're fighting this urge to come towards you because something happened. Maybe there was an ending and they feel like, okay, I'm the man. I got to do things differently now. I can't say certain things. I can't express my feelings like I used to because I'm going to look like I'm being soft. <sighs> People, they block their own happiness. It's sad. Why is the strength card here for the King of Swords for Taurus situation? Okay, card flipped in and flipped out. Let me reshuffle. I don't know which card came out. Why is the strength card here for the King of Swords for Taurus situation? Current love situation. Yeah, because they're holding back because they felt rejected. They felt abandoned by you. Something that you said or did to them or a decision that you made caused them to feel rejected and abandoned. So they feel the need to put up this front to be like stoic and act like they don't care because you made them feel this way. You made them feel inadequate. You made them feel less than. And some of you may have said something to this person that really hurt their feelings. And then they're in their, their pride right now, their ego. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Taurus in their current love situation? Why is the King of Pentacles here in regards to their current love situation? Okay, so somebody's stressed out about like giving into you, like offering this equal give and take. They're stressed out about like offering you this, this um, reciprocity that you've been looking for. Why are they stressed out about offering reciprocity towards Taurus? Why are they stressed out about offering reciprocity? Or somebody feels like there's a lack of money with this King of Pentacles energy. Somebody might be financially lacking money at this time and it's causing a strife as in you know, regards to um, coming back towards you because they feel like finances was a big issue in the past, in the past situation that you guys had. If you guys had an ending, they felt like money played a huge role in this situation and they don't feel adequate enough to come towards you at this time. So some of them are in hermit mode. Maybe you may be in hermit mode as well, trying to gain a new perspective on the situation. Why is this person in hermit mode, spirit? Why are they in hermit mode? Or they ghosted you, like they said. This person ghosted you. Yeah, because it's something so one side with this queen of swords. Somebody made it clear about something. What did this queen of swords say? That caused this person to be in hermit mode for Taurus. What did this Queen of Swords say to cause this person to be in hermit mo mode for Taurus? Three of Cups. They said something about coming together. About this reconciliation. They made it clear that maybe they didn't want to reconcile. They didn't want to work together anymore. And somebody's having some doubts about it now. Maybe somebody... I also feel like there's energy here who may have said... In a, in a mist of anger, that they don't want to work together anymore. They're tired of you. They're tired of the, all the dumb stuff that you're putting them through. So they kind of cut the ties with you. They don't want to work together with you. But they said it out of emotions. But in their heart space, they really want to work together with you. Uh, but they didn't express it. They kept it hidden with this moon energy. Okay. So what is this Three of Cups in Taurus love situation? What is this Three of Cups? In, in Taurus's love situation. What is this Three of Cups about? Okay. The Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Swords. Okay, so I feel like some of you decided to disconnect from this person. And somebody wants to talk about, like, getting together. Like I said, this re re reconciliation card, this longing card. This person who wants to reconcile... They want to talk. They want to probably send you a text message about like, you know, celebrating, getting back together. And somebody's curious. They're waiting for you to like communicate with them or make them a small offer. They're waiting for you. I don't feel like this person's stalking you. For some of you, you may have a stalker. So beware. If you know there's signs that someone's stalking you, take precaution. But in this situation, I feel like this person's just extra attentive. They're waiting for you to call them. I feel like they're waiting for you to reach out to them for whatever reason. Because they feel like maybe you did something wrong, even though you may feel like they're the ones who did something wrong. So they're feeling like the narcissist. Like I said, narcissists tend to not take accountability for what they do. So they feel like you did something wrong in this situation, whoever's energy it is. Energies are vice versa. So take it wherever it applies. They feel like somebody did something wrong in this situation. And they should reach out. And they're waiting for you to reach out. Very immature energy if they're grown people. Very immature and they're approaching you as a page. And then we have the king of, and queen of swords. So it must be a different um, a age difference for some of you guys. Okay, so, or maturity difference. 
What is this Eight of Swords for Taurus in their current love situation? What is this Eight of Swords about for Taurus in their current love situation? Three of Wands. Somebody's mentally stuck or feeling restricted about moving forward on a new journey. Um, tell me why they're feeling mentally conflicted about moving forward, moving on. Because they're carrying a burden with this ending. Or, they, or they, this could be something external to you too. They could be um, other life situations this person may be going through with this ten of wands they're carrying a huge load right now there might be other people that are taking care of or have to look after um so it's causing a heavy burden for them to try to move forward they want to lessen the load what is this burden that this person's carrying in Taurus situation love situation what is this burden that this person is carrying in their love situation the nine of cups a wish fulfillment okay so the nine of cups could speak of a lot of things Somebody just being selfish at this time. Like, this is narcissistic energy as well. Somebody just being subservient at this time. They want to just give in to themselves. They only want to do things that make them happy. They want to do this equal give and take, this Six of Pentacles energy. They don't want to do that equal give and take with you, even though that's what some of you want. You want reciprocity, which everybody wants reciprocity in a relationship. Somebody is very um, self-serving at this time. And maybe dabbling in things that they shouldn't be dabbling in with this Nine of Swords energy. Why the Nine of Swords energy? Some of them are over drinking, over spending, over sexing, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to say about that. What is this Nine of Cups for Taurus in their love situation? What is this Nine of Cups? Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so they want to focus on themselves moving forward with this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so they're keeping their stability to themselves. They're just focusing on themselves. They're being selfish at this time. Um, somebody might be coming towards you because somebody walked away from something, and um, that that they, they that they ugh, somebody walked away from something that they that they felt uncertain about or felt like there was too many secrets or something hidden. So somebody's walking away from the situation, and somebody's holding back at this time. They may be holding a grudge because they're feeling like insecure, like this wounded warrior. What is this Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? What is this Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune for Taurus and their love relationship? The Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. What is this Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? Four of Wands. Ooh, okay. So some of them are moving towards a higher level of commitment, okay, with you. Or it could be in a new love dynamic. But let's see. Let's clarify. What is this Four of Wands for Taurus in their current love situation? The Queen of Pentacles. Oh, you have your counterpart. So yeah, they want a higher level of commitment with you. They want peace and happiness moving forward. They see you as a wish fulfillment. Almost got concerned. Um, yeah, but they felt like something was burdensome in the past. And moving forward, if this is a reconciliation, they see you as their counterpart with this Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. They want to have this higher level of commitment with you moving forward. Okay? And this might take some time. I don't feel like this is going to be an overnight thing. This might take some time with this Wheel of Fortune because the Wheel of Fortune is speaking of seasons. So we don't know how long that could take. It's different for everybody. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. What is this Seven of Swords about for Taurus in their current love situation? What is this Seven of Swords about for Taurus in their current love situation? What is this Seven of Swords for Taurus in their current love situation? I feel like somebody needs to leave something behind in order to come to you. All right, so somebody is trying to avoid over... Somebody's trying to avoid thinking about you. Because they see that you're prospering and you're doing your thing with the sign of pentacles energy. Somebody's trying to avoid something that might not, not be... All right, there's two stories. Somebody might be trying to avoid thinking about you. Um, they're trying to avoid something that has come to an end with this inactivity card with the four swords. They're trying to gain a new perspective. Or somebody may be also praying about you, praying and wishing that you'll come back. Okay, because some of you are now single. Or they're heavily, you're heavily on this person's spine. You got the high priestess energy. We got the um, hermit. They're thinking about you a lot. Okay. And they're trying to avoid it. Somebody wants to move slowly towards you. Yes. Like, like I said, with the Snyder Pentacles energy, that could be your energy. Maybe you're also healing from the situation or maybe healing from a past situation. But some of you are moving slowly towards this Ten of Cups dynamic. Um, and you want communication. You want things to move forward in a peaceful way. Okay? So you want communication as well. Somebody might be communicating with you is what I'm feeling. 
there's going to be some kind of there's going to be some communication that's coming in either from you or the other person but this person is also going to converse they want to converse they're waiting for you to call but once you guys talk there's going to be a conversation here for sure and it looks like it's going to be a positive conversation but somebody's overthinking something i don't know why they're overthinking um but let's clarify some of the cards let's clarify narcissist um egotistical opportunist fragile why is this person narcissistic in Taurus connection? Why is this person narcissistic? Why is this person narcissistic? Okay, the sun. They, they're they avoiding making decisions about their happiness. They're avoiding, they're blocking their happiness. It's, if you see the image, the sun is Leo energy. And I feel like some of them see you as the sun. And they, they, they're blocking it. They're doing everything to block you out for whatever reason. They're trying to avoid their happiness. It's heavy, stubborn energy here. What is the sun with the two of swords? What is the sun with the two of swords for Taurus in their situation? The king of pentacles. You make them happy. You make them happy. You make them happy. And they're just like healing right now. They're healing or they're waiting. I feel like this person is waiting for you to come forward with this page of cups. With making a romantic gesture towards them. With this narcissist card. They feel like you did something wrong. They are waiting for you to communicate with them. Whether you feel like you need to or not. That's up to you. I don't know your situation. But this person is waiting for you to communicate with them. That's for sure. That's what I'm getting. Um, tell me more about this running card for Taurus. Why is this person running in Taurus's situation? Why are they running? Why are they running? Why are they escaping and denying? Yeah, they're running from their feelings. Ooh. They're running from their feelings. They have a lot of love for you. This King of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. They want to break through in this situation. Because you make them happy. They want some clarity in this situation. But they they want you to break the ice. It's like they want you to talk. They want you to make clarity in the situation. But they have a lot of love for you with this King of Cups energy. What is this Ace of Swords about for Taurus in their situation? Two of Wands. Yeah, they want you to make a final decision to come towards them. Make up your mind. They want you to make up your mind. Somebody needs, they want someone to make up their mind. And until they, until someone makes up their mind in this situation, they're going to continue to avoid. Somebody needs to make up their mind. Somebody's stuck in a crossroads. It could be this person who's always like constantly like overthinking things and they're just keeping themselves stuck. But there's somebody who's overthinking something and they need to make up their mind. Why is trapped here? Sorry if the video is extra long, but I do intricate reading. So why is trapped here for Taurus in their current love situation? Page of Wands. See, somebody can't find the words. Somebody can't muster up the courage to come to you. With this Page of Wands. To talk to you. To break the ice. They see you as victory. They made a decision that they want victory with you because you make them happy. But they're blocking, they're blocking this happiness for whatever reason, this judgment, this decision to come towards you. You see, they see they're making a decision to have victory in the situation. They want your attention. They see you as their happiness. They want to go towards their happiness. And this page wands character is trapped. Whoever is distant right now and feeling stuck, that's this person. They see you in a high light, but they're not doing anything. And that's very frustrating. Frustrating, And I don't encourage people to do that, to stay in a relationship like that. Because that's you're going to keep running after the person. Let's just be honest. You're going to keep running after them. Karmics. Third party haters lesson learned. What is this karmics for Taurus in their relationship? Ooh, magician. Oh, somebody did some. Mm. Somebody is surrendering, trying to get, get a new perspective about um, having a new beginning with you. Because they have a lot of love and attraction for you. Gemini energy. They have a lot of love and attraction for you. Strong passion energy. But they feel emotionally blocked. They're blocking taking action. And with this karmics with the magician card, I just don't feel good about that. I feel like there's some kind of um, black magic 
or maybe somebody is really receiving karma at this time with this karmics to the magician card like somebody's trying to create some kind of havoc some kind of problem take it if it applies i don't like to go into that stuff too much because i don't i only worship the good stuff but i do feel some kind of dark energy for some of you guys so just be wary of that if you feel like somebody did something to you don't call them out on it. Just pray on it and just keep praying and healing and burn incense and stuff like that. Okay, there's different videos on YouTube that you can look at to get karmic energies and black magic off of you. Okay, why is distance here for um, Taurus in their current situation? Why is distance here? The King of Wands. Why the King of Wands? Why the King of Wands for distance? <laughs> okay. It didn't make sense at first, and then now it makes sense. Somebody's... Okay. So somebody's closed off because they're waiting for something to subside with this tower. They're waiting for something to, like... They're waiting for, like, um the... the, 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 the ugh. They're waiting for the dust to settle. Because right now they're feeling intimidated by you. They're feeling scared. Okay. Call it what you want to call it. Call it corny or call it being a wimp or whatever the case may be. This person feels like a wounded warrior, okay? Whether they were the wounded warrior in this situation or not. They're looking at this. They're feeling like they're, they're going to encounter a problem with you. But this person, this King of Wands energy, wants this higher level commitment. They want this happiness with you. And they're denying themselves for whatever reason. There was a separation. They still wanted this. If you guys separated from this person... This person still has strong passion towards you. They still have strong love for you, but they feel intimidated by you. Why is it that they feel intimidated or scared of Taurus in this love dynamic? Why do they feel scared? Yeah, because they feel like they're going to encounter a tower moment. And they're waiting to heal from it. What is this tower for Taurus in their current love situation? Sorry, I'm, I'm curious. What is this tower? What is this per what's this tower? The world. Okay. They feel like they feel like something a cycle might repeat. If they were to come towards you, they feel like things are gonna end up the, back to the same place again. So if, if this is an ex, somebody that you have strong love ties with, they feel like or this could be somebody at a distance as well with the world card, somebody that is international at a distance from you. Uh so this person feels like if they were to come back. That a cycle might repeat. And they don't want a cycle to repeat. Because they feel like it's going to end in catastrophe. Okay. So what is this longing card for um, Taurus? What is this longing card for Taurus? What is longing for Taurus? Why are they longing for Taurus? Why are they missing Taurus at this time? Why are they missing Taurus at this time? Oh, they have a lot of love for you. They're thinking about you a lot. Mm. They see you as this high priestess, somebody who's highly spiritual and they're highly connected to you. They might be even sending you messages, you know, telepathically. Um, read up on it, but I've experienced it where somebody um, at a distance from me will, you know, like I would know they're thinking of me because a certain song will come on at a certain time and the volume will change. So I know it was like uh, the person trying to communicate with me. Because they were at a distance. And then, you know, the music volume will be at a certain volume. And as soon as a particular song came on that me and him used to share with each other, I knew it was him trying to, like, communicate with me indirectly. So some of you are having telepathic communications with this person, with this high priestess energy. But they're thinking about you. You're heavy on their mind. They have a lot of love for you. You see? The Seven of Cups, they're overthinking. They see you as their star. They're hoping for a renewal in this connection. Oh my gosh, they see you as an empress. This is, gets no better. They see you as an empress. This queen of all queens. They're hoping for some kind of revival in this connection. But I don't know, this person doesn't, I don't see a lot of action cards. I see, I feel a lot of love energy for sure. This person has a lot of love energy, but it's a lot of ego at play here. And a lot of overthinking. Okay, so I hope something resonates. I'm also going to pull some Oracle messages for you guys. 
running, narcissist, trapped, karmics, longing. And you could be at a distance from this person as well. Could be a divorce, a separation, or somebody ghosted you. Okay? Take it wherever the energies apply. Aw. But I do feel like somebody really has a lot of love, but they are just very scared for whatever reason. I don't know. They need to get out their own way. That's what I said to Gemini. So if you're connected to a Gemini, please watch their reading because I went in on them. Because it was similar energy. Similar energy. There's a lot of earth sign placements in this. So you could have been dealing with a Gemini. If you were dealing with a Gemini or you just have Gemini placements, major placements, check out that Gemini video because it was definitely like, I went in on them. I was like, really guys? What is wrong with you guys? Please <laughs> watch that video. And also comment down below if you would like to see more Taurus readings on a weekly basis. Just put Taurus down below and if I receive a lot of likes or comments under it, then I'll definitely do prioritize my Taurus people. I just want to make sure that I give the um, people who vote more and who comment more, who are engaged more, the attention that they deserve. And it's no bias, okay? I had no bias towards no one, okay? Because I'm a Taurus myself. All right, guys. So thank you guys for that. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do my oracle messages. Okay, so these are the dark confessions of the soul. Because this ego thing is really driving me insane if you're dealing with someone who's egotistical. So spirit, speak to me about Taurus. What is going on in Taurus's current love situation at this at this time? What is going on for Taurus in their current love situation at this time? Taurus for their current love situation at this time. What are some dark confessions of the soul? Taurus in their current love situation at this time. What are some dark confessions of the soul for Taurus? What is it this person's not saying to Taurus? What is this this person's not saying to Taurus? What is it that this person's not saying? See? I feel like there's a lack of communication. Silent treatment for some of you guys. Um, I've lo I have lost all control of my life. I keep messing up. Okay. So somebody probably is regretful because they probably made a mistake. They knew you were a good person. If you guys disconnected from this person, they feel like, damn, I did something wrong. I fucked up. I am finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. Okay, so somebody might be doing some self-work, but they're still not healed all the way. Still working on themselves. I cannot give you what you want or deserve. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. I am afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. A lot of insecurity energies. Because for some of you, I do feel like the feelings are mutual. You just want this person to stop being in their head and do, be, be more action-oriented. I have karmic debts that need to be paid before I could come back to you. Okay, so with that karmic card and the magician, somebody is definitely receiving some karma right now. And maybe spirits calling them to stay away from you. That's why they're not coming. Why you're not receiving calls or maybe the calls are breaking up. You know, you for some reason, you always miss their call or they're supposed to see you. You're supposed to meet up and it doesn't happen. It's like spirits protecting you. It's too late. I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. Okay? So somebody may f have moved on in the situation and they don't want to reconnect. I also feel like this is ego energy as well. This is them fronting, trying to lie to themselves. And maybe they did move on in another love connection. Okay? They could have moved on to someone else. Um, but use your own discernment. If you feel like they're doing stuff with other people, leave it alone. If you want something serious... Well, you can't force anybody to do anything. Okay, guys? Much love. Comment down below if you would like to see more Taurus readings or if anything resonates. Please comment down below. Love you guys. Have a great weekend.